The medical tests are pretty ordinary. Not so the person receiving them. Maria Patricio has volunteered to become one of the first people in the world to receive an experimental coronavirus vaccine, which, if successful, could put an end to the worst global pandemic in a century. It's not risk-free, but it's very minor, I think, compared to... I don't know, <laughs> other things that you put yourself <laughs> into every day. I would say I'm 95% excited and 5% nervous. The researchers here at the University of Oxford will have recruited 510 volunteers like Maria by the end of the month, when they'll start vaccinating half of them with these first doses of their COVID-19 vaccine. The other half will get a dummy vaccine. In this case, we're thinking that if everything fell absolutely into place, we could have a lot of data available that would give confidence in a vaccine and that it worked and even be uh, able to manufacture into certainly the tens of thousands and, and more likely the millions of doses um, in about six months' time. It's an incredible claim. Normally it takes a decade or more to develop a new vaccine. But like a new car based on an existing chassis, the Oxford team have made their coronavirus vaccine using a design that's already been proved safe and effective against other diseases, giving them an edge. Fingers crossed that it would work because, you know, everyone's life is on hold at the moment. It's really, really exciting. I do hope it works. If it doesn't work, at least we'll have um, data to show what could be improved and then kickstart another one. There are more than 30 other research institutes working on coronavirus vaccines globally. And ultimately, that benefits us all. If this project does hit any snags, there will be other options out there for the billions of us living in lockdown. Tom Clark, ITV News.